a most blessed day and welcome back to my hardcore Iron Man series where I focus on defense. In the last episode I did a bunch of thieving, got myself a rogue outfit, did a bit of mining, well between quotes of course, kind of 75 was pretty nice. And uh, let's get right into it. And here comes 55 smithing. I'm gonna go make myself a steel sim uh, a metal scimitar even. And I can make a metal spear now. Pasta is pretty good actually. Yeah, let's go make one because I'm definitely for gonna forget that. Um, do I have any metal bars? I do not. I think I need four each. I'm struggling to see these. Yeah, 56 right now. Oh, yeah, that was the points, I see. Okay, we got four metro bars here. Oh, I dropped my hammer. When did I do that? No, no, I banked it. I banked it. That, that's what it that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Metro scimitar unlocked. Just gotta go get myself a black scimitar really quick and then I can use it. Uh, is there anything else I need to do? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Eventually I'll have to smith all the maces. Okay, gonna grab the... Uh, black scimitar really quick. Lockpick. But I guess 50 XP and there we go. Got the black scimitar as well. So, about to show off where you can get broken armor for a very niche matter that no one is ever going to use but me. You can get damaged armor around here. And you can turn those into black plate bodies and such. At least it's not multi, that's kinda good. Okay, that's three. Okay, this is actually awful. Wow. Now, if you missed it, what I need to do is I need 55 construction for fixing damaging armors. And I want the house portals anyway, so I may as well get it out of the way. This will allow me to quest more efficiently, and I will also be able to start doing uh, farm runs better. Oh, I forgot my pickaxe. That's that's kind of funny. Well, I'll, I'll see you when I've tested this one out. Just finished our little limestone adventures. Managed to get myself to 38 construction, almost 39. Was pretty decent. It's like 12k an hour. Actively, you do need dig site pendants and dueling rings and house teleports. But it's, it's not that bad. Was pretty good, I would say. Pretty good. Gonna go do some mahogany homes and the eyes of glue free now. And with that, we have completed the eyes of glue free. And I'm gonna go grab myself the uh, crystal saw, which will help me boost my construction. And that's 40 construction. Quite nice to get out of the way. Um, 10 ish more to go. Not too bad. Action. What a nice level. That unlocks house portals, which means I can now actually place a bunch of teleports in my house. So nice. Okay, that will be the last level for now, because I'm out of planks. Uh, let's go construct the house. I made myself a costume room, so I can store my stuff for my bank. Gonna need all the space I can get. It's just oak, obviously. I only had 15 teak planks which I used for the portal rooms. 
which aren't even both finished. I'm still missing a portal. Uh, it was mostly about this thing, which I'm going to be using to get myself a black blade body from damaged blade bodies that you can find in current or from the hand members if you thief them. Uh, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to be doing with these portals yet. I don't really have the runes for it anyway. I accidentally made one extra skill hole, but I'll find a use for that at some point, surely. <laughs> then we finished the kitchen, so we can actually boost for construction quite easily now. And that's all for now. So this is my first time ever I'm actually attempting this. I didn't even know it was possible. You accidentally break it. Okay, we got the iron blade body. We're looking for the black blade body, obviously. Well, there it is. I won't need to get any more. Very lucky. It's a 1 in 26. And I managed to get it on the fifth one. Very, very good. Now I've officially unlocked black. I'm gonna go kill some ice giants now and get the kite shield. And then I have officially completed black armor. About to get 56 crafting. There it is. That unlocks snakeskin shields. So I'm immediately going to make that. Pretty big upgrade actually. Boom. And with that, I have completed a full black armor set. I just missed the boots now. But obviously that's a Slayer exclusive drop. So that won't count. Beautiful. Currently still working on getting the mystic boots to drop from the cockatrices. We're now 185 kills in and it's a 1 in 512 so it'll be a while. But I figured I would try melee and it's actually not going all that bad. I'm glad I waited with the full black set though. Obviously you can't use the shields because I need a mirror shield not to die by these guys. In case you didn't know that they work just like basilisks do. They would uh, destroy you if you weren't wearing a mirror shield. Also don't have the black boots yet because obviously that's like, what was it, uh, 50 Slayer from Bloodfells, was it? Could be. It's definitely one of the higher creatures, I won't have them for a while. Either way, I'll pull back to you when I get the boots. Well, I even went a little bit past it. Time to buy the most epic item for the entire series. That actually is really, really important for everything I need to do. Full back obtained. Very nice. Now I can properly do Blast Furnace. Well, I went to make some lunch and I continued to mine. Got 77 mining without knowing. That's funny. That has been quite some time since I've had a dance. And over that perfect HP. Got my first two portals. Uh, the ones that I want besides these, I, I can't really get yet. I need to do the uh, Desert Treasure 1 quest and Lunar Diplomacy. And then I also need to get my magic up. But we have Adrenal Manor Portal now and an Arceus Library. This one's going to be really useful for now. I still haven't unlocked the Ferry Ring because I didn't think it was worth the money. This is probably a better investment. Now I'm going to go train some magic at the library. So. First of many, six to do magic. So this may be a little bit of an exaggerated EXP rate right now, but I think you can expect between 60 and 100k. Um, don't think 100k really is possible without stamina, so like it will show up temporarily, but now that you would have to go look for books, it's going to be bad again. I am about done here. I'm going to go do some Guardians of the Rift, going to get myself some more nature runes, and then I will continue... With the mage grind, I'm gonna do that at the mage training arena in the high elk room because I gotta get full infinity anyway. So, 59 room craft, which is pretty nice. Now we get double cosmics, gonna loot some uh, rewards as well. It's only four, or whatever. I just lost my uh, pouch again. I finally figured out why that happens. I had no idea that was a thing, but if it's uh, like grayed out. And you continue to not repair it, it can actually break. I had no idea that was a thing. 
Some quick reward points. Another four rolls. Come on. Give me my pouch back. No pouch. I see. Four more. Let's see. Hey, you got a pouch back. Okay, now I will protect it. Oh, I got a second catalytic talisman. That's very sad. Uh, need about 150 more for the first piece of the set. 60 rune crafting. Obviously, missed the level because it's the way this minigame works, but it's fine. Nice level to get. Five more. Pearls. Nice. Not so nice. Any luck this time? Just some pearls, please. Alright, five more loots. Let's see. Earth runes. Death runes. Those are kind of good. More earth runes. Eh, eh. No pearls again. And with that, we had another bunch of earth EXP. Very nice. 690. There we go. 40 defense, very nice. Now I won't be training defense for a really long time. Because uh, I can't really upgrade my armor anyway, so... I may as well just put that EXP into strength and attack. And I get 50 attack first. That way you can get the, um, what's it called? Iban staff unlocked, any ancient staff. Yup, that, that will be the plan for now. Gotta get... My smithing all the way to 99. Uh, well, I'm not allowed to use any of these things. That's great. Let's arc them on recording. There. I've started the first round of our beloved mage training arena. The Alk room is just such good EXP, I couldn't resist coming here. And that's 63 magic. This is actually going really, really well. I love that you get the free uh, Alks once in a while. And with that, I will have reached 10k coins. And we're gonna turn it all in. Here comes the big boom. Oh, look at that 20,000 EXP. So nice. That'll be all for today though. I'm gonna go back to mining now. Just noticed a little milestone. 10,000 coal has been passed. Looks actually pretty clean. I really like that. Takes me back to the old days. Hmm. Yeah. But back then I actually mined the actual coal and started doing model up mine. 78. So for the next two weeks, I gotta make sure my hunter is above Slayer. Because I think this is probably the best way for me to handle uh, the other cuttings for now. Humble 79 mining incoming. We're closing in the 80. Very nice. No fucking way, dude. I got the one and... I got the one in 1000 drop. Before the one in 512. <laughs> it's completely useless as well wow. and with that we have become 50 attack very nice now for some strength training at last okay let's see what we get for this medium clue that's actually kind of good not gonna lie that's 80 mining I am accidentally skipped the message though but that's fine what a huge level looks so good I guess it's about time we dump the golden nuggets into a bigger bag so we can afk longer hello mr percy i would like to order something else from you i hand it over thank you very much i don't know what else to do with these golden nuggets uh like a previously mentioned i think what we're gonna do is once i have hit 99 mining or 99 smithing even then i will be allowed to buy like gem bags from all my nodes because otherwise these things are just like sitting here doing nothing i don't know 
And with that, I only need one more emote, I believe. Oh, never mind, that was the last one. Nice, from now on, my events will give me EXP lumps too. And that makes 81 mining. Looks amazing, we're getting close to that 99 now. Another book. 690 EXP. That makes 82 mining, very nice. I can officially easily boost to 85 now, kinda cool. Well, 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 third lamp today, and this is actually a nice one. 47 Herblo. Oh, that was actually kind of unexpected. I was not really paying attention. 83 mining. That's really cool. I actually can't believe it. I got yet another lamp. That's lamp 4 today. Completing all those random events was so worth it. Wow. Beautiful. I'm definitely getting there. Um, the levels are getting slower now. That's okay. 84 mining. And that's the beekeeper set as far as I know. Well, there they are guys. We got the mystic boots. That puts me at a 720 kill count. Very, very nice. Here it comes. What the fuck? What is that? A very big level here, 85 mining. That means rune is officially unlocked, even in the model of mine. Excellent. Slowly but surely moving on to 99, 86 mining. And that's 57 smithing. Very nice. And I'm quite sure if I collect these ores that I'll have 70 smithing banks. And if that's the case, I will start doing the blast furnace now. Okay, never mind. I'm out of patience. I want that 70 smithing. I'm gonna go over there. Let's get going. I will report with every level that I get. So the clips will come in fast here. After a long wait due to leaks releasing and completely annihilating the login servers, I finally managed to get back in the game. Time to get some EXP gains. Oh boy, that was a horrible wait, but hey, at least I managed to finish a full table recording. That was interesting. Dump 100k in here for now and let's get going. I must say, after all that waiting for the gold to arrive in my bank from the model load mine, this feels absolutely amazing. I never imagined it would be this satisfying to get your own horse. It feels way better than just buying them from the shop or buying them from the grad exchange on a normal account. Here comes 60 smithing. Any second now. There it is. 60 smithing. Very nice. And that's 65 smithing. Five more to go for Adamantite. 58 crafting. Not bad at all. 68 smithing. Let's go over to Vadok and uh, get ourselves a full metro set. First trip, let's see. One helmet, one plate body, one kite shield. One pair of plate legs. And a full helmet. And with that, I have fully completed Metro. Uh, I think I need to make one of these as well. Oh, whoops. Metro crossbow. Um, and some grapples for sure. Yeah. Probably need like 10 of those. Can I buy some armor, please? Thank you very much. Let's put that in the bank. Nice white knight armor. 
And here I am mining some iron, cause after my friends chat convinced me that I should check out the giant's foundry, I have changed the plans. My adamant will be going into bolts only, and everything else will be going to the giant's foundry, because this is the most efficient way for me to transmit. Either way, thank you for coming to today's episode, and I will see you next time. And if you could be so kind, leave a like and a comment down below.